Hello to pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is your boy Alvin Drill. In this video, I'm going to show you what happens when you interrupt the, the BitLocker encryption process on a computer. So for that end, as you can see, I'm in front of a computer. <laughs> this is a Windows 10 machine. And the actual hardware that we're going to use is this uh, Dell Optiplex 3040. It can be a laptop as well, it doesn't make a difference. It, this is just the one I'm going to test on. Okay, just a disclaimer, this video is for learning and entertainment purposes only. Do not try this on your computer because you might lose information or messed it up, okay? So I have done two videos in the past uh, for this model on which I reset the BIOS password and upgrade the BIOS password. I mean, upgrade the BIOS version. So if you're interested in that, I'm going to leave the link in the description below for those videos. Now, let's go to this PC. This is the C drive, and, uh, and next to it, we have a USB flash drive that we're going to use in a few seconds. On the C partitions, we don't see a lot, as we have seen in other videos. That means it's not encrypted. Now, let's open a CMD as an admin, and we're going to type the command manage PDE status. I typed it wrong the first time. The second time, I got it right. So as you can see, we have the C partition, size 120 gigabytes, fully decrypted, percentage encrypted zero. And we also see the D partition, which is not encrypted, for, uh, of course, which is the USB flash drive. Now we are going to encrypt the C drive. So we go, we are going to select it, right click on it and turn on BitLocker. This is going to take a few seconds and now it's going to ask me to save the key. So I want to save it for sure. You click on that and automatically it's going to take you to an external partition, which is my USB flash drive because you cannot save it on the same hard drive that is going to be encrypted. So you can change the name over there and you click save. After that, you can go to the USB and open the file. As you can see here, this is the key, your recovery key. Well, we are going to see it better in a few more seconds. There you are. So this is your rec recovery key to decrypt your hard drive if needed in the future, okay? So I'm going to close this one. And now we're going to go next, continue with the process. I'm not going to run BitLocker system check because it takes a long time. I'm just going to start encrypting. So as you can see, it's really quick. It's 70% already. So now what we have to do, what I'm going to do is uh, pull the cable, the power cable from the computer. So as you can see, I just did that. The computer is <laughs> dead, it's shut down. And now I'm going to uh, connect it again, turn on the computer again, as you can see me doing over there. And we're going to see what happens if we see the, the, the page for the recovery key. So we have to type it down, but we're going to see what happens. And as you can see, it went ex uh, directly to Windows. I log in. I'm going to go to command prompt as an admin, and I'm going to type the command one more time, manage BDE status. It took some seconds, and now we can see that the encryption is in process, is in progress. 73%, uh, almost 74% and the encryption method as well. So the process continues. Now we're going to check uh, the, this PC. We go to uh, this PC and right click on the C drive to see what's going on. So we go to manage BitLocker, we, you know, we click on that and it's going to tell us the status. As you can see, operating system drive, BitLocker encrypting. So the process continues after we have removed the power from it. If you run the command again, it's going to update. Now it's at 75%. So now I'm going to wait for to go a little up, uh, a little higher, and we're going to test again. Okay, so I waited for 10 more minutes, and it's at 84 percent. Now I'm going to do the same. I'm going to disconnect the power cable from the computer, as you can see me doing over there. The computer is dead. One more time. I'm going to connect it back. I'm going to turn it on. It didn't work the first time. The second time it took a few seconds right there. So the computer is booting up. Again, we can see um, uh, the Dell logo over there. The videos are sped up, of course. We see the Windows logo, uh, login screen, and we're, and we're in Windows now. I'm going to do the same, go to CMD as an admin, type the same command, manage BDE status. And as you can see, it's at 85%. So it's not affected when the electricity is lost or you disconnected it or something happened. So your, uh, your computer is not going to be bricked. If I go to this, uh, the C drive, I forgot to mention, you can see the lock over there and the encryption process is still going on. So as you can see, after we have rebooted two times in a bad way, it's still encrypting, nothing happens, okay? So I'm going to wait to 100% to see how it behaves. As you can see, it's at 100% now, so it's totally encrypted. You can see the method, you can see all the characteristics we have seen a few seconds ago. Now I'm going to close everything 
and I'm going to restart the computer, but this time using the common method. So I go to start, restart, and the computer is going to do it. So the video is sped up, of course, you can see the Dell logo, you're going to see the Windows screen, and now I'm logged in. So as you can see, Windows has not asked us for the recovery key. You know, that blue horrible screen that freaks you out and says, hey, you need to type the recovery key to have access to Windows one more time. Otherwise, you don't have access to your files or the information that you may have in that endpoint. I wanted to show you this video because um, in a company, when you are encrypting all the endpoints, you might be wondering, hey, wh hey what happens if the client shuts down the computer or if it restarts or the, there is a blackout or something like that. Okay, so that's why I did this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comments or questions, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, as you know, I'll see you in the next video.